Previously on Ghost Dimension, we investigated claims of a grey lady inside of Allerton Orangery. And it was on this very investigation that we caught some of the most compelling evidence of the paranormal we have ever encountered. Tonight we have returned to the site of the location to investigate the former stables of Allerton Towers in an attempt to make even further contact with the alleged spirits haunting this building. some of the most up-to-date scientific equipment, we endeavour to gather evidence that there is life after death. These are our investigations into the mysterious world of the paranormal. Whatever you have seen, whatever you have felt, Whatever you believe, there is more to this world. There is the ghost dimension. Allerton Tower Stable sits side by side next to the Orangery, and its current keeper claims that ghostly sightings are commonplace inside of the building. Tonight we explore one of the few remaining buildings that stands within the grounds of what was once Allerton Towers, the Stables. Now used by Merseyside Youth Challenge Trust, the Stables would have once housed the horses and carriages belonging to the Earl family, as well as other families both preceding and succeeding them. It is thought that in this building, covert meetings may have taken place between Mary and William Earl, son of Sir Hardman Earl. The Great Lady of Allerton Towers, thought to be Mary, has been seen within these walls by staff and volunteers working at the building. A fleeting figure is regularly seen out of the corner of the eye, and as soon as the witness turns to look, the figure is gone. A fragrant smell has also been reported, but no one can quite describe what exactly the scent is, only that it seems to carry a melancholy feel with it. We're investigating the stable block at Allerton Towers tonight and normally we know what we're investigating and with this place it's the Grey Lady but we've just found out that uh, it used to be a hospice here during the First and Second World War and that opens a whole can of possibilities for us. So maybe we're going to be bumping into soldiers tonight that came here to, to recuperate, maybe didn't make it and died. Um, it's going to be an interesting one, I'm looking forward to it. It'd be nice to see if the Grey Lady puts in an appearance but also see if there's anybody else here that we can make contact with, perhaps a soldier that passed. There's a lot of history that surrounds the Earl family. Mary that fell pregnant and was maybe murdered here and ended up down a well. There's the hospital side of this building that we've been introduced to where people would have died in here. We've come into this building and we've already felt energy around us We've heard noises, we've seen things out the corner of our eyes. It's making me feel very creepy. <laughs> <laughs> 
and it makes me feel a bit uneasy because those types of people that would have been here are a mixture of people, nice people, some psychotic people. Are those psychotic people still here, still walking? Is that what people are seeing? Is it Mary? Is it somebody else? I can't wait to investigate because when we investigate, I'm sure we're going to uncover things because we're going to set up experiments tonight to attempt to capture some of this activity that's been reported to have happened here. You know, we want to capture it because we want to prove something is haunting inside of this building. So could it be that the spirit of Mary still returns to this place where clandestine rendezvous took place between her and her lover William? Or are her murderers stuck on this plane consumed by the guilt of their dastardly deeds? Good or bad, we are here to find out what really is going on and hopefully we won't be making a premature bolt for the door. So we're here in the stables at Allerton Towers, Merseyside, and I have to admit, I was a little bit apprehensive coming in because I didn't know what we were going to investigate, to be honest, it being the stables. But we've since found out that it used to be a hospice uh, b between the First World War and the Second World War. So that's geared me up for tonight's investigation and I'm really looking forward to seeing who we bring through um, with our equipment. So let's do it. Tonight we are about to explore Allerton Towers stables to seek out the alleged entities that are believed to be haunting inside. We have already had amazing paranormal captures on camera at the orangery next to the building so our expectations are high for the investigation ahead. Can we just go with K2 on this one? Because we're getting a lot of weird interference. I'm thinking Use the K2s, maybe take the EMF. We're going to find out what it is that's haunting here. Yeah? Let's do it. Before our investigation of the stables can begin, we set up trigger lasers to alarm if the beam is broken and to capture anything that may be in the room with us, as we will be investigating in total darkness. Did you that Look at this, it's going mental. No, what did you? There's a noise coming from the back over there. Anybody here? So we've got my K2. Do you know what I just want to do while we're in here in a minute? The singing bowl, see if we can dr drum up the energy, make anything in here, we feed it with some energy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, shall yeah. I get that now? Yeah. Um, well, should we say in that? You can hear voices. You ready? Something just flashed over there. I saw that. Did you see through it? the beam? Yeah. Like something's yeah. walking through the beam. Okay, let's roll with this. Do you hear it? Whoa, I heard babe, this. Babe, 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 point out over there. And look behind you as well. Behind us. Something just happened behind us. I'm just going to put that down. That, that green light so just came on. Yeah, so... The green light came on on the ghost radar as well to indicate something there. That is freaking weird. I'm trying to focus in on it, but... It's hard, isn't it? I'm trying to focus. Yeah. It's there anyway, and it went off. Whoa! This is going mental as well as going mental. Got another one here. If that is somebody in here, and you're using our energy, come forward even more. I'm going to feed you some more energy right now. Can we just have a look at something on your screen? I thought I saw something. No. Ready? Oops. What's going on?
It was clear something was in the room with us. Although we had yet to capture it on camera, it did appear to be interfering with the singing bowl and was stopping it from playing its singing sounds. Thank you. Who are you? Can you step away from it, please? Step away, please. Loud bang. Thank you. Now, this is a totally concrete floor. <laughs> That's Morse code. Very good. Thank you. I don't understand Morse code. Now, I'm referencing that because, if you remember earlier, we told you that this was a hospice during the First and Second World War. So this would probably have had soldiers in. And soldiers usually no, no Morse code and that sounded very much like Morse code didn't it? My take on it anyway. <laughs> and that was one beat perhaps for yes. Really good, thank you. Wow, that's some really good interaction straight off the bat. Thank you for that. Yes, I also had zoomed in slightly. Thank you. Not even properly started. Thank you again. It's going to stop that for one sec. Look at this. Is it going crazy? Yeah. Whoa, they're both going crazy. Whoa. Something behind you. I heard. I heard the same. Nothing laughing. As we both heard something laughing, we caught the following audio on camera, which we have enhanced and it clearly sounds like a guttural growl. Whoa. Something behind you. I heard. I heard the same. Nothing laughing. What was even more strange is at the precise moment that our K2 meters started to indicate a presence, Paul was also seeing activity on the REM pod. So it seems that our investigation had not gone unnoticed by whatever was lurking in the building. Is that you we can hear? Can we hear you? Are we able to communicate by voice? Can you speak to us? Tell us your name. Whoa! I am seeing flashes of light from somewhere. I'm going to try and turn this IR down. No, that's fault. can't see it. I am seeing flashes of light coming from somewhere. Thank you. It's really good. That's very strong. Oh, and this one's going off. Wow, thank you. Thank you so much. Were you a soldier? Did you fight in either World War I or World War II?
What You're the? kidding me. That was the walkie. Yeah. Followed by something down there. Did you just affect our equipment? Again. Is that the walkie? Yeah. Oh my god. What's going on? Bang, bang. Bang, bang. bang. And then boom for over there. I'm just thinking of put it, putting it down put so it, I can't put, see anything. Is that the walkie again? Yeah, I'm just going to put it down so it's, it's not on me. We only want to communicate and find out who it is that's been seen here, who it is that's haunting here. We mean... That was the walkie again. We mean you no harm. Speak through the walkie talkie. Somebody just said your name. Where behind you or through In the walkie? Somebody's touching me leg. Woohoo! Somebody's touching me leg. Jesus, babe, it's just, 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 just okay, it's okay. Have a look. Stop. My coat. Somebody's trying to say your name. You want it, yeah? So you. Yeah. Speak through the walkie-talkie. Was your name Sean? Oh my God, did you hear? Oh, it's the beam. It's the beam. Something knocked to the back over here. Oh, now the beam's breaking. Look, oh look, look, look. Oh my god. His name was Sean. Oh my god, it's going crazy. Bex? Oh my god. I'm just gonna see, we need to see if we can see anybody. Walk it through, that's right, walk through it. Walk through the beam. Show yourself to us. Did you hear the shuffling? Yeah, I did. I'm on it. And a whistle. Come on. Oh my god, did you hear that? I'm pointing this way, you point that way, okay? Dimension. Tonight our investigation of the stables was so far not disappointing, and already we appear to be in constant contact with multiple spirits haunting the building. But we would be able to uncover who these entities are as our investigation deepens. Now, can you try and set that one off on it? That door's just closed and I was stood right next to it, I heard it creak and it's just closed. I'm rather All right, caught that. I'm trying to focus. Gordon Bennett. It's just where to to look next. I'm gonna, and they're both going again. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Can you step away from them, please? I'd like to ask you a question. Thank you. And that one. Thank you. Is there just one person? Apart from myself here now. Is there just one other spirit, a soldier? If there's more, set up set the devices off again for me, please. If there's more than one of you. Just having a oh look, I've opened this door again because I don't know why that closed. I was right next to it and I heard it creak. But the way it closes, there's no way it was a case of me bumping into anything. Nobody in there. It's going crazy again. Is it? 
Okay, right. I'm sure somebody's in this room. Try one more time. Did you hear that? Oh my god, did you hear that? Come closer to us. We felt your presence, we've seen what you can do. Now, one more time. Do something big and then we'll leave. Oh my god, that just went off, but I didn't have it on camera. Bigger. Move something. If that's all you can do, by alarming the, the device on the uh, chair. Eight. Eight. Is it eight? No way. No way. Eight. Eight. What could eight mean? Eight spirits or eight years old. I can or see something moving on that bean box. Walk away from the bean. Amazingly, following the constant clicks from the walkie-talkie, an entity appears to walk through our laser trap and triggered the alarm. The energy levels in the entire building seem to be high and we weren't quite sure yet who these spirits were. Hopefully, we will find out. Wow, this is active. This is really, really active. Can you set the other? Thank you again, there we go again. You're doing brilliantly. What else can you do for me though? Marvellous time. Let's have a, a look if I can get it out of my bloody pocket. Marvellous. Can you talk to me using this device? Use your energy to try and find words that are in this device to talk to me, please. I've got two devices in my hand now. Two devices. Knock, knock. Yes? Are you there? Knock again. Knock. The walkie's gone really quiet. And then, knock, knock, knock it. it. Yeah. Can you copy that? Down the bottom. Yeah. And did you hear shuffling above mm. us on the ceiling? Mm. Can you do that again? Thank you. Make it louder. I feel sick in here now. It's horrible, isn't it? This is making me feel like. I don't know what it is. I feel sick to them. I think it's somebody that passed here that was. Whoa! Okay. I know we got that. What the they died here and they passed. Bang again. And then bang again. I think we're right. Somebody passed here that was maybe in the war and they're being seen in this room and walking. And that was like the cough of somebody that was super ill. I heard like a. <coughs> I heard that. Did you hear that? Yeah. That would have been. And then the walk has gone mad again. <laughs> Water. 
Water. What about water? Do you need water? Are you thirsty? Devices have gone quiet now. <laughs> what was I saying? On there. Oh, that one was going off as well. Did you set that one off then? I didn't quite catch it. Can you set it off again? They both went off then. Thank you for that. Just want to set the gun quiet. Just to prove me wrong. Oh, yeah, there you go. Can you do that again? I missed it. Do it again for me, please. One more time. You know what happened, don't you? If I take the camera off it, it will go off. The investigation of the stables was ever increasing in activity, and with no sight of the Grey Lady, perhaps these entities that are haunting here are from the World Wars, when the building was used as a hospice. As we delve even deeper, further into the investigation, will we uncover the truth behind the high levels of activity? Sean will explain the equipment, what we've got. Well, we've got the ghost radar, which has been going wacky ever since we switched it on. The Colours keep changing intermittently. He's going to put it there. And again, the red is going off. And it stops. And it starts. <laughs> it's like the place is full of ghosts. Exactly. But this place was used as a hospice between one and two world wars. So is it all of those energies coming back? We don't know. We don't know. Um, well, let I'm just going to turn it off. Should we just turn it off for a minute? Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it outside of the door. Okay, yeah. Okay, follow me. Yeah. In fact, let's put it on that table over there. Yeah? Let's see if that now sets it up. Yeah, okay. Okay, so that's settled. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got the ghost radar over there. And boom! Straight away. Okay, thank you to the spirit that's doing that and communicating with us. It's I'm definitely just gonna, communicating. This is the um, EMF sensor. So I'm going to put the EMF sensor over here. Okay. I hope they won't okay. interfere. Okay, so there's some type of energy there. We don't know what it is, but it's alarming that. I want to go into the room over there. Okay. Okay. And take the EM pump, which we've got here, and see if we can get something to stir up in there as well. Mm -hmm. do you want, should we take the ghost radar? Yeah. Let's do it. And you notice it's now, look, I'm moving. There's some energy in here. Can't see. That's going crazy again, isn't it? At least it's quieter in here. Let's shut the door. Right. Let's leave that to its own devices in there. Mm -hmm. And let's see if we can stir up some energy in here. This is a reverse polarity. Is going off? Is that going crazy? It was going off here before. That was, you saw that going crazy downstairs. Yeah. You didn't film it, and it was going red, 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 yeah. red, flash, flash, flash. And one of the, even the um, eye device that we use, it just wouldn't stop going mad, so we've just decided not to use it. I'm going to switch the EM pump on, it's got reverse polarity on it, and sensitivity. So if anything comes near us after we've used this, hopefully it's because we've fed it with the energy to use. And now look, it's quiet in there. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to turn the sensitivity up. If anybody's here, please take the energy we're giving to you now and use it. Use all of the energy and manifest. I'm going to give you both polarities, reverse, you know, forward and backwards, plus and minus.
Please come towards us. Make yourself even stronger than you have. We've heard your alarm our meters. We just want to make contact and find out are you with the Lady Mary? Or are you somebody that died here or lived here? Or connected to the Earl family? I am in the stable block of Allerton Towers in one of the uh, upper floor rooms and I have just put some kit out and I keep hearing tapping sounds from over in that area somewhere I'm not sure where it is so I've just put the kit out I've got a rem on that chair and there is a rem over in the middle of the floor Turn this down so that I'm bleached out. Hello, welcome to oh excuse me, one of the few remaining buildings left standing in the grounds of Allerton Towers. And there's that noise again. So the history is the Grey Lady haunts the grounds and possibly the stable block here but what's really intriguing is that um, we've just found out that this particular building was used as a hospice Ooh. He's going to stick it on the floor because he's going to buy it My name's Sean. And I'm Bex. We just want to communicate with you and speak to you. We don't want to show you any disrespect or harm. I thought well, there was a light up there and I think it's a motion sensor. Yeah, it is. What was that? Did you hear it? Yeah, it yeah, bangs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Again. Okay. If you're in this room with us now and you've joined us, make something move. You are passing, spirit. You passing through. Did you come to this hospice when you were part of the World War One or World War Two? Oh my God! Did you hear that? That was on the floor. Mm, that was like tap tap tap. Was it World War Two? Is there an animal in here? Is it? Can you, can you do that again? Have we just gave you energy? Have we fed you energy? Have we fed you energy? Jeez, that was over there, Max. Do that? Yeah. Rustler. There's something in here. Come on. Manifest on camera. Show yourself to us. <gasps> Hello? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is that you? William, is that you? William? Did you serve? And again, I'm just going to keep the camera pointed down there for a second because I keep hearing tapping noises from down that end. Are you knocking? 
and you tap again make a noise for me there just about to say it only seems to happen when I'm talking but it actually went off that time without me saying a word just going to try and navigate my way over here lots and lots of stuff on the floor which I'm trying to not trip over and break my neck <clears throat> there's somebody down here you make that noise heard it then I'm not sure Ooh. That sounded like somebody just stepped forward. The, have you noticed how the uh, REM pod's been quiet? Yeah. Oh my god! No way. You are kidding me! Did you hear? What was there? There was somebody behind the door. No, 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 no. no. Okay, so swift, breathe, breathe, ready? Just stand still for one minute. Ready? Come towards us. Again, over there. We're shuffling. Yeah, shuffling. Shuffling again. Walk on this floor. We'll be able to hear you if you're shuffling. Can, can you hear something else? Listen. Sounds like horses. Can you hear them? Vaguely. I heard that. That was me do, doing the noise. I don't think we'll pick the vaguely. Was it you that made the noise? Flash again in five, four, three, two, one. William, is that you? Oh my God. Or is that Mary? Mary? Or did you own this house? Is it somebody that owned the house? Or this worked here are you stuck here on this plane do you need help oh great that's marvellous isn't it <clears throat> I don't know if you can see that but that just said Demon. Marvellous, thank you. I don't know why I'm saying thank you. That's slightly bananas, isn't it? I'm just going to try and make my way. Oh, that's me. See what I mean? Can't see a bloody thing. I'm just going to try and put. Uh, yeah, that's me. I'm going to put that there. top of it and it went off. <clears throat> so, who's a demon? Why have you just said that? Who's in here with me? Okay, absolutely nowhere near that, that time. Way too far. Who are you? Are you the person that's just come through and said demon do you get the feeling something else is going to happen I think somebody is not nice here show yourself to us touch Sean are you ready oh. did you hear my god 
Whoa! The same time we heard that noise. The REM pod went off onto the, t on the table. And again. That sounds like Morse code, babe. Come on! Come closer, light the meter next to it! The hell happened there? Are you a friendly spirit? Or are you an angry person? No. Angry? You hate us being here? You want us out? Were you angry because of the way you died? Were you too young to go? Too young to die? Or were you murdered? Come on, don't be shy. Talk to us. Mm. Oh. Okay. You don't like us going in here, do you? Is that a dangerous place? What is it? Oh my god. I don't want to enter, but I know we should enter. Wait. Does that mean to not flash it? No, it's gone. Dead. Oh, no, it's on. Let's put that next to the ram. Yeah. And then we're going to get you. We're going to get you. We're going to come to you. Can you give us a name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Did you not hear that? Hey, what? What did the voice say? What did the say? <laughs> so you're, you need help? Are you in pain? Is that how you died? You died being in pain? There was something strange that had joined us all in the stables and we could not believe our ears when we played the voice back that we had just caught. It sounds like a female saying Mary. Let's put that next to the ram. Yeah. And then we're gonna get you. We're gonna get you. We're gonna come to you. Can you give us a name? Was this the voice of the grey lady? And was she the cause of all of the activity at the stables and our injury?